Leading the way, you're watching KNBC 9 First News. New documents detail the crash that left this little girl with a brain injury. This morning, we have the latest update on her condition and what's next for the Chiefs coach involved in that crash. Once again, dealing with icy impacts on the roads and bitter cold, and we are focusing on a day of dangerously cold conditions on the First Alert 9-Day Forecast. Before you start your morning drive, we have a few tips to keep your car running. It's best in the cold. We'll show you what to check before you head out. Now, a reminder, several schools are closing for a second day in a row because of these dangerously cold temperatures, also the bad road conditions. Check to see if your district is making any changes by keeping an eye on the bottom of your screen, or you can head to KMBC.com where you will see the full list. Now, let's get straight to Nick with a look at this first alert frigid forecast. It is, Donna. You know, this is a good alert for, uh, for parents and guardians and, and teachers. You know, if, if they canceled or they went to virtual yesterday or today because of the cold or the snow, odds are that, that that's going to happen again Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with the forecast that we have. This morning for the drive, there are icy spots on the roads. It's tough to tell which roads have the icy spots. There's a lot of them, but there are icy spots on them. Uh, windshield values, negative 5 to negative 10 degrees. That's the other impact that won't affect your car, but that'll affect you. If you like to prepare with the temperature instead of the windshield, it's Eight degrees at Kansas City up there. KCI made there's just a few flurries in there. A north wind at 11 is making it feel like negative 5 to negative 15 degrees. Again, the wind chill doesn't impact our vehicles, but it does impact us. 12-hour forecast. We're back to the temperatures here. Single digits this morning, maybe 10 or 11 this afternoon. And wind chill values during this time will remain around zero. I would prepare for icy spots this morning as well as icy spots for the evening drive. Donna. Okay. All right, Nick, thank you. Speaking of icy spots, we don't know what caused this, but we have live pictures here of a jackknifed semi. This is on 71 Highway. We've been watching this for you this morning. Again, a jackknifed semi there on 70, uh, 71 Highway uh, northbound, just near 39th Street. Uh, be careful as you head out this morning. Right now, we continue to work to find out whether there are any injuries involved with this. From what we can tell, it looks like one vehicle so we'll keep you posted on that this is video out of kansas city missouri shows what safety officers are up against in this weather a kcpd officer was working a crash monday at 152 and 435 when he tried to add traffic cones well they wouldn't stay put they were sliding on that frozen pavement it's conditions like this that caused a huge spike in crash numbers from kansas city missouri police they say 106 traffic accident calls came in in just five hours Monday. That is 10 times what the department is used to. City crews know that this is not a challenge that's going to go away anytime soon. I don't think it's supposed to hit above freezing until sometime mid next week. Um, so again, we're ramping up, um, doing what we need to do, making sure our, our trucks, equipment and materials are stocked up to kind of continue snow operations for the next several days. KCMO's Public Works is also helping get or getting help from other cities to treat the roads. They're not just laying salt. They're also adding chemicals that help with traction as well. We do have breaking news this morning. Prairie Village police say eastbound lanes are closed near 75th Street and Lamar, and that's because of a large water main break in that area. They posted these pictures here. Okay, to Instagram, you can see the water on the road with these temperatures that's going to go to ice very quickly. They're encouraging uh, you to avoid that area if you can. Well, making sure that your car is fully prepared is very important always, but especially now. KMBC 9's Matt Evans has some tips for all of us before you head out today. Matt, good morning again. Uh, good morning, Donna. You know, just a few things you can throw in your car if you have to leave your house this morning that's pretty important to have along with you. Obviously, cold weather gear. You think, oh, I'm not going to be in my car for that long. I'm going to get in. I'm going to drive. I'm going to get there. No problem. But if you get straight on the side of the road, some gloves, a hat, a scarf, a blanket, important things to have on an extremely frigid day like today. These are things I just try to keep in my car all the time so I don't forget to throw them in during this cold weather. A first aid kit, something else I always keep in my car just for minor cuts and scratches and things of that nature. A phone charger, a lot of us have these, but if you don't have one in your car, make sure you throw it in there because getting stranded without your phone 
can be extremely dangerous in these cold temperatures as well. A flashlight is something that I always keep along just in case you're, you're out and it's, uh, and it's, and it's dark outside. Uh, another thing that's kind of that helps with safety issues is, is one of these like LED flasher things, kind of a, a road flare type of deal, but it's all electric and you, it's got uh, a, a magnet on the back of it, battery operated, and you can throw those on the back of your, your car or truck and if you get stranded on the side of the road, that's going to help people see you a lot better. Of course, that's always a, a, a concern is if you do get stranded on the side of a highway or a road, you want people to know that you are there. Another thing with that, if you have to get outside your car on the side of the road, uh, grab a reflective vest or things like that. Some other things to keep in mind, check your tire pressure this morning before you leave because this cold weather can really zap the, the pressure in your tires. Make sure your tires are fully inflated. And of course, jumper cable is important to have in your car or truck all year long, but even more so now because of this cold weather, it really uh, does a number on these batteries. So just a few things to keep in mind to pack away this morning. But uh, the probably the most important thing that you can pack away in all of this is to make sure you give yourself plenty of extra time because the roads are not in great shape. It will take you longer to get there and just don't be tempted to try and speed on these icy roads. We're live in Kansas City this morning. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. Now, really good advice and good reminders, Matt. Thank you so much. Another important tool for your morning drive is uh, on your phone, our KNBC 9 News app. You can follow the interactive radar that Nick and our weather team watch. Also, get alerts for accidents that could slow your drive. This is a free download. Well, bitterly cold temperatures have area shelters doing the best they can. They're adding beds, hoping that people who are out in the cold will come inside. Shelter KC is up to about 100 people who are there getting relief from the cold. The biggest change for them, they're adjusting their hours. They're opening earlier and staying open later. We're doing everything we can to make sure that if somebody's seeking shelter, that we're able to give them help because this is life-threatening weather. Now, something has helped uh, that has helped is the addition of beds at Bartle Hall. The folks at Shelter KC say that they have not had to turn anyone away, thank goodness, because they have this extra space. Well, the City of Independence has a warming center that's open for anyone who needs to excuse me, get out of the cold. It's at the Sermon Center near Truman Road. Anybody who uses the center does have to wear a mask and go through a health screening. You can find the hours on the city's website and uh, the city says it will be open today and tomorrow. We have new details right now. Uh, a five-year-old girl is still in critical condition and Kansas City Chiefs assistant coach Britt Reed, he's recovering from surgery after a Thursday night car crash. Reed told police he had had two to three drinks before he got behind the wheel. KNBC 9's Martin Augustine is live with more on this story. Hi, Martin. Good morning, Donna. We're going to hear more from Kansas City Police a little bit later this morning about how these sorts of investigations evolve and, and why it may be a long time before we get any resolution on this. Now, this crash in question here happened not far here from Arrowhead Stadium on an on-ramp to I-435. The little girl whose family says her first name is Ariel is unconscious and receiving care in a local hospital. Kansas City police say she has a brain injury. The crash police say happened when Brent Reed was driving his pickup onto that on-ramp and crashed into a stopped SUV. Now the driver of the SUV had stopped to help people in a car that had run out of gas. Doctors operated on Reed after the crash, according to his father, Chiefs head coach Andy Reed. A Kansas City police warrant says Reed told one of the officers at the scene that he had two or three drinks prior to driving his truck that night. Now, Reed had blood drawn at that hospital. That'll be a key part of the investigation. That blood will be examined to determine whether or not that Reed was impaired in some way. But police, again, saying that this is a long process. It may be weeks before we have any specific answers. Reporting live, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. Martin, thank you. Now, you can watch that news conference that Martin talked about this morning on our KNBC 9 Facebook page. It's a live stream that starts at 930. Well, the Archdiocese of Kansas City, Kansas, says that the state's Bureau of Investigation is now looking into a sex abuse complaint involving the Dodge City Bishop. Church officials say that Bishop John Brungard is accused of sexual abuse of a minor. He denies the allegation and is cooperating with investigators. Another bishop will take over his duties during this investigation. 608 right now and uh, looking for ways to describe this cold and dangerous Nick is the one that keeps coming up because yeah. you know so many people do work outside or they have to get the bus mm -hmm. um, it's just so cold especially for the weekend Donna that that's going to be the coldest stretch of this this Arctic air outbreak that we've been in uh, today icy spots on the roads 
Tomorrow and Thursday, light snow and even some freezing drizzle is likely periodically throughout the day, Wednesday and Thursday. Minor accumulations of snow and ice could have a significant impact on the road conditions because it's so cold. So the road conditions Wednesday and Thursday could wind up to be what they were on Monday, which was bad. Saturday, Sunday, I mean, our lows now are dropping below zero here. Friday through Monday morning, the actual air temperature. And if we had to alert you to one day in particular, it would be Sunday. The record low is negative four. The forecast low is negative 12. So that would put our wind chill values from negative 20 here in Kansas City, Johnny, to maybe negative 30 or negative 35 across northern Missouri. That's dangerous anywhere in the country. Yeah, I think, uh, in fact, uh, I'm sure you know, but uh, how long it's been since we've been that cold. I know way back in, I think the record is 22 or 23 below here, so there you go. And that was back in the 80s, I believe. All right, let's take a look at uh, the road conditions and southbound uh, 435. This is going to be near Winter Road. I think, actually, this is going to be the northbound run. It looks like they just partially cleared an accident that we had. Uh, a lot of emergency equipment on the scene just a couple of minutes ago. It looks like just one car off the road now. But what we uh, we're talking about yesterday, and kind of the theme is that this isn't going to go away. With the temperature so cold, we still have a lot of roads that are seeing some uh, snow cover or ice cover and certainly slippery conditions at the very least. So uh, not much different than yesterday, probably better for sure. But as far as uh, caution you need to use, not much different at all as you could uh, roll up on a really slick spot anytime. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. Okay, Johnny, thank you. We do have an update from Blue Valley schools, middle and high school students could go back to in-person learning next month. Board members just approved a plan for students to return March 23rd, and that is as long as the district is in the yellow or green gating criteria. The plan also calls for continued COVID-19 testing for students and staff and vaccinations for staff members. Well, new numbers from the Metro show 343 new cases of COVID-19 for new deaths. Now, while those numbers sound high, and they are, they're actually trending downward. The average number of daily new hospitalizations is also declining in our nine county area. That now sits at 103. Well, today is a KMBC and KCWE Community Day where we highlight a local nonprofit. And today, it's all about the Dream Factory, which grants wishes for chronically ill kids in our area. It is run entirely by volunteers, and they're always looking for people to step up and help. Part of the, the fun of it is meeting the other volunteers uh, and realizing how many great people there are in the community that are willing to help. And then being able to just get involved with the families and getting to know them and actually work with them and make the dream come true, is uh, it's priceless. If you want, want to get involved, the Dream Factory holds a volunteer meeting every month. Now, you can also donate right now to help grant dreams for kids fighting serious illnesses in our area. Text KMBC in all caps to 50155 to make an instant donation, or you can head to KMBC.com slash community. Well, today is day one of former President Trump's impeachment trial. While it still might be a while before we hear any arguments, a team of professional athletes is putting aside the game to make a huge difference in people's lives. Next, how one Chiefs player's help made a huge difference and how all of this started with a prank. Our first alert 12 hour day planner so you can prepare for what's next. KNBC 9 First News, leading the way.